All right, so we're gonna go back um, into the area of surgery through these doors here, and we'll get back into the area we're gonna do surgery at. So we're getting ready to go into surgery. Um, there's a lady that we're gonna operate on who has spinal stenosis, which is a narrowing of the spinal canal. So what she has, she has narrowing of the spinal canal, which is pinching the nerves in her back. So she has bad pain in her back and down her legs. And she can't walk hardly at all because she has so much pain. So we're gonna operate on her back to open up her spinal canal to unpinch the nerves. So the first thing we do out here is we scrub our hands. Obviously you've seen it on TV. We do this for a few minutes um, in between cases and that keeps everything nice and sterile. We just finished scrubbing at the sink. Now we're in the operating room. So we're gonna get our gowns on. So the nurse here is gonna help us get our gowns on. <laughs> So this is the part where the anesthesiologist starts to put the patient to sleep. So you can see he has actually given the patient through an IV multiple agents including a muscle relaxant and several other agents that help the patient fall asleep. So within 10 seconds of giving this medication the patient will literally just fall asleep. Now you can see that we got everything draped off sterile, so we got all the sterile drapes on the patient and the back is exposed and so we're going to get ready to make incision here in a minute. So this is an electrocautery device that helps um, stop bleeding that we use. As I'm, you know, dissecting down the spine, obviously you have to go through some muscle and tissue, and you get you get bleeding. So these blue things are called bipolar instruments, and the electricity goes right through the tip. So I can put these tips right on the spot that's bleeding, and it cauterizes it. So we use these a lot because there's a lot of bleeding as you go down that you need to stop so you can see what you're doing. Same thing if like we're operating on the brain um, and you get a blood vessel on the brain that's bleeding, you have to have a really fine tip that cauterizes just the blood vessel and not any part of the brain. <laughs> 